previously during the investigation. F. K. In the coffin. I knew I could count on. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off honest Tom. Jack Potsack. A shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. Are you thirsty? You must be very thirsty. You only take milk with your coffee. Coffee with milk, that's all. Who are you? My name is Becky. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. After your throat is quenched, you must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. Zack, this case looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first.
<laughs> Whoa there. Did you need something? No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it surprised me, that's all. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for, oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. <laughs> Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry, he's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops, before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Oh, uh, thank you. How kind of you. What brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. But, you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be, and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? Forrest Kaysen. F. K. This show has just begun. Breakfast looks as good as yesterday's. I hope you enjoy it. I will, and thank you. I just met Kaysen, actually. Ah, oh, good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sapling? As a matter of fact, he did. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no, only to the people he feels comfortable with. He told me. He must feel really comfortable with me. He must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Mustard? Okay, I'll just get it from the kitchen then. No, mustard has nothing to do with it. 
I was wondering if you know of anyone that Kaysen didn't give a sapling to. Oh, too much pepper. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Zach, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? Forrest Kaysen. He's hiding something. You think so too, right, Zach? But no need to rush. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged. The powers of entropy. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this coffee. What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room, and so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear! Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. A cultural activity in such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach.
The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zach? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. I can't wait to meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. 